Karen Reed was back in court today as jury selection continues in her murder trial. Now, both the prosecution and the defense are wading through potential jurors who have not made up their minds about this case, which has drawn enormous attention. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paula Eben. Reed is accused of hitting her boyfriend, police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV. WBZ's Anna Myler reports from the courthouse in Dedham. Day two of jury selection in Karen Reed's murder trial is officially underway. The trouble is trying to find people who are impartial in a case that has captivated so many. Karen Reed smiles and thanks supporters as she arrives at Norfolk County Superior Court Wednesday morning, where the judge and attorneys will sit through a pool of 85 prospective jurors. You pretty much have to be living under a rock or not in Boston uh, to not have heard of the Karen Reed case. And that's the problem. Yesterday's pool started with 90 prospective jurors. About 70 already knew about the case and 25 had an opinion on it. The goal is 12 jurors plus a few alternates. You'll find people who are familiar with the case, but at least have the ability or claim to have the ability to keep an open mind. Ray Ruggiero was excused as a potential juror Tuesday, saying he works for the town of Canton. I'm happy because it's going to be like six to eight weeks and it could be like longer than that. That's a long time. That's where Karen Reed is accused of hitting and killing her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV and leaving him to die in a snowstorm. Reed has amassed throngs of supporters who believe she is being framed. They are back again today in a court-mandated buffer zone, wearing pink in a show of support since the judge ordered them not to wear apparel, referencing the case so close to court. The judge ruled yesterday that Reed's defense attorneys can point blame at others for O'Keefe's death during the trial. But the way the judge framed it, I think, is especially fair because what the judge is suggesting is, look, you can't mention it in your opening statement, which is going to be a preview of coming attractions, because what if you don't deliver the goods during the trial? Four jurors were seated yesterday, and that process continues today. In Dedham, Anna Myler, WBZ News. Now, once opening statements begin, we will stream the Karen Reed trial live on CBS News Boston and Pluto TV. You can also watch an in-depth look at the history of this case right now on the WBZ YouTube page.